You know, I don't I don't know what it is about my dad. I mean, he he from the time I was just you know really young, he's always had a um, an understanding of me, and I I don't know even how to really explain that. He just he's been there at really poignant moments of my life, and and said exactly the right thing to say, as if he he really understood me and who I was. And um, for example, when I got cut from the Olympic team in '92, I you know made it down to the final 15. I had been starting point guard on the world championship team, and it was I was so in line to be not only um, make the team but be the starting point guard. You know, so I was the last player cut, and I remember flying home to my parents' house in Tennessee. As soon as I saw him, you know, tears, and he hugged me and he said, "Hmm, you must have played really well." That's all he said. And I just looked at him and I'm like, "Man, he knows me," because he said, "You wouldn't have been upset otherwise." You know, so it was just he kind of he kind of just and he said, "You know, it's okay. We're here." But he, but it was more than just, oh, we're here, we love you. It's like he understood me, and that that really has my, for my whole life. You know, he's he's the reason that I went to Stanford. He he had a vision for not only you know the basketball side, but also to go and and get a great education. And so to to, to let your daughter go, who you're very close to at the age of 17, you know, that takes a lot of love. Growing up, I mean, my. Family dynamics, I mean, with, in terms of, how can I say it nicely, basically my parents didn't have money. So, you know, they went through some difficulties with jobs and, you know, businesses and things like that. And, and so, it, it, all I, I remember times being really tough. And, but I have this, you know, this, this passion and this love for basketball. And so my sister and I, we knew we couldn't get a basket at our house. So we made this, like, makeshift thing out, out back and, you know, kind of just played. I remember being at a campfire girls meeting. I was in the fifth grade and sort of didn't really want to be there anyway. And got a call at the house. The mom came down and said, Jennifer, your dad's on the phone. Well, immediately I'm like, oh my gosh, what's wrong? He called me to tell me that he had arranged for our driveway to be, it was kind of you know steep, and to, to level it out on part of it. And he had also found this refurbished basketball hoop that he was going to put up for me. And it was, I, I, I was, I, I was excited beyond belief. But for him to do that at a time when really, I mean, they, there's no way that they could have afforded really much of anything. But for him to see that, that passion, that drive in me, and show that level of love and support was just, you know, incredible. Incredible. He's always been like that for me.